Dear students, today we will have our last module on Microsoft Word. And in this module, we will see that how you can uh, view your document. There are different options. And then you can also uh, work on the show group, the Zoom group, and Windows group. So let's start our practical and see that what are different options available in the view group. So I have opened this document. I'm in the view ribbon and uh, let's first discuss the views group. So in the views group, we have different uh, layouts, modes to represent our document like read mode, print layout, web layout. So what does it mean? This means that at the moment we are on the print layout, which means that when this document will be printed, so it will have such kind of margin from left side, such kind of margin from right side, it will look like this. So it is print mode, right? And the next is the read mode. Read mode will uh, hide all of these unnecessary things from you and it will be more comfortable to read this document. So let's try it. So you can see that all of the unnecessary decoration from the top header has been removed and you are really uh, reading this document by pressing next arrow keys and back arrow keys. So it's very uh, convenient to read. The font size is good. So if you want to go back to the main screen, you need to press escape. So then you are back on that. And then you can also try web layout. So this means that how your document will be uh, displayed if it is put on the web. So you can see that this document will look, will look like this. So uh, there is an extra space over here. So let's try to get rid of it. It's I guess some, some of the commands. So if we move to the next command and delete our delete all commands in the documents at once so now you can see that we have get rid of this kind of thing so if you know come in the print layout so we have exactly uh, the same margin from left and right and on web it will look like this right so this is the actual uh, thing which will be shown on the web. And then you can also uh, show different outlines. For example, if, if I click on outline, so this means that this document uh, on all of the headings, it has got some plus sign. So that is expandable or stretchable. So whenever I click on it, so it is stretched. So there is a content in the abstract that has been stretched like this. I have stretched the introduction. I have stretched up. So this means that all of the things I can stretch. So this is our document, right? So in this, we have this. And if now, if I want to see only the result section, I will click on it and we'll see the result section. That's it. And I will go back. So this is called outline and uh, then if you go back to view print layout uh, then you can also see it as a drop so switch your views to see just the text in your document nothing else this is useful for quick editing because header footer and certain objects wouldn't show up allowing you to focus on your text only so that can be achieved using draft. Uh, then you can also show ruler over here. Uh, grid lines to your document. And you can also show the navigation pen like this. So here is a navigation pen. So you have all of the headings over here. So whenever you click on it, so you will be moved to that particular page. Then you can also zoom it, zoom out, zoom in. For example, 
if I say 100% zoom, it's like this. If I say I want to see one page at once, the whole page, so you can see that this is the whole page which is being shown to me at one particular screen. If I want to see multiple pages, I can. I can also uh, click on page width. Then there is another option of windows group in which you can uh, go to different windows. For example, this document is over here. And as soon as I click on new window, there is a new document. Uh, there is a new window of the same document. You can see over here. You can arrange different windows. So you can see I have opened both windows. It is open, opening new window. And I can turn on the split option, which means that the same document will be shown twice. So you can see over here and you can make changes over here. And if multiple windows are shown, for example here, then you can switch to those windows wherever you want. So for example, if I remove split first, So it is stuck at the moment. It has many, many uh, commands from me. So I'm just waiting that it becomes a little bit relaxed to listen me again. is somehow working so maybe we can just get rid of it and open a new file yes it's somewhere here Yes. So we were in view. You can go to new window. So in fact, it, it launches a new window uh, for the same uh, document. So it is still adding the content into this window. I think the content is too much because it's it is comprising of 26 pages. So that's why it's taking a little bit more to instantiate uh, the new window and adding all of the things into this window as well. So maybe let's try a smaller version. Let's try something very simple. Yeah, we open with simple document, new file, and let's see we want this is I can see and we say let's add new window so now that window has been added and then you can switch to those windows for example if you want to switch to the second document or first document you can so today we have learned about views how to change your uh, view of adding uh, read mode, print layout, web layout. We have discussed outlines, draft, uh, show, zoom, and then the windows group. So let's conclude uh, today's module. Today it was our last module on Microsoft Word. And we have learned that how we can view actually the document in different shapes 
as we have already formatted the document uh, with enough learning in different uh, ribbons and groups. So it was the time when we have seen that how that document can be represented to you uh, and could make you easier whether you want to just read that document, whether you want to edit that document, whether you do not want to see the notes and how you can handle multiple windows in one particular Microsoft Word instance. So from the next module, we will be focusing on Microsoft PowerPoint.